Hi everyone, happy October and Halloween season. I'm very excited, I hope you are too. Um, I'm coming here today to talk to you about study tips I have for online learning. Um, currently um, at Brunel, we've gone into tier two. That means a lot of our seminars have now moved online. Our lectures had already been online um, since the start of term. So what, what I basically wanna convey here is that online learning is not as hard or difficult or kind of complicated as we kind of I know have this kind of stigma about it if that makes sense but um no I just want to tell you some tips that I've learned I've tried and tested um and they've helped me um so we'll just crack into it so um my number one study tip is definitely separate your relax and your homework spaces it's so integral to having a healthy and focused mind um, I know um, when online learning started, I was like, yes, I get to stay in my bed and do my work and stuff. But um, after a, like, a, like a week or so of doing that, it really started to um, mess with me and like think of like, oh, am I meant to be relaxing? Am I meant to be doing work? Am I meant to be doing work? Am I meant to be doing relaxing? If that makes sense. Like I would be watching my lectures for instance and hopefully none of my professors are watching this <laughs> but I would start to like doze off I would start to lose uh focus I'd go on my phone I would just kind of do what I would normally do in my bed which is just kind of chill out really but when I was meant to be doing work and then when it came to trying to sleep at night or uh trying to wind down I'd be thinking about you know the work I've got to do stressing myself out a little bit um if I was like behind on the seminar readings um that whole jazz so it's really really important to separate where you relax and where you study so I've actually moved downstairs into my kitchen dining table to do my work because it's just easier and also I can make a beeline if I need a tea or a coffee which perfect for me um, so then number two, you, the one thing that we all lost during lockdown, I think, is we really lost a sense of routines. Um, everything has been kind of shaken up. Everything's been turned on its head. I know what my routine was before um, lockdown and um, coronavirus happened is a lot different than what it is now. I mean, you know, when you leave the house, it's like, have I got my keys, my wallet, mask, you know, so routines have really changed up and, you know, we've kind of lost a sense of it. With online learning, though, um, I think the one thing that you can really do to try and get back into some form of normal routine is kind of like, I don't know what, what trying to say is that you want to kind of, oh, <laughs> you basically, you want to watch your, I have pre-recorded lectures. And so I watch them at the time I would um, actually be in them. So if they were like 9am, I would, try and get myself up for 9am it would usually turn into a 10am um but yeah I'd watch them about that time of day and then kind of the evening I would set aside for you know pre-reading um get a bit a little bit of the seminar work done as well and then kind of planning what to do for my essays and then the later evening I say about seven or eight I would kind of relax wind down bake offs probably on and then I'll be able to that again we go back to number one where we separate relax and, and study um time but yeah definitely start setting up a routine I have three modules this term and I do my uh le my pre walk lectures once once a day so then I've got the whole day to kind of discuss like talk about it um kind of with myself and kind of understand it <laughs> um so yeah like Monday is for one lecture Tuesday Wednesday all my seminars are on Thursday so then I get all my work done for Thursday Friday's a little break for me but then also I've got my job that I kind of do which is this um but yes yeah, so that's basically um setting up a routine um number three it's it kind of coincides with the past two but if you're in your pajamas you're gonna really feel like you're you're just wanting to be in bed you want to chill like if you you just need to kind of dress up when you're in those kind of day-to-day -day outfits you kind of feel more of like you're actually doing something i know like when um I can definitely tell the, the difference of feeling like when I was in my pajamas and doing my work I was like I don't feel like I'm doing anything like I feel like I've done nothing all day because I've been in my pajamas been in my room whereas when I like put an actual outfit together and I go sit down in the kitchen I feel like oh god like, I've done so much today I'm really happy so it's kind of like a mindset help really which is 
all of these um that i'm talking about today and then the last one i'm not sponsored i'm just loving this at the moment but it's the prep free subscription month oh it is amazing honestly it gets you out of the house so it'd be like a nice little walk a nice little bus trip obviously with your mask on but it's like a it's like a little trip out you get out of the house do you can do your work in the in the coffee shop free coffee for a full month and then it's like 20 pound a month after that but sis has got a lot of cards that she <laughs> swindle no i'm joking that's bad but um yeah definitely try and get out of the house and go somewhere like a library maybe um again yeah the prep coffee shop it's all really good that like, as long as you i guess it's so important that we don't want to be so trapped inside if that makes sense like we want to be you know out and about and just doing like our own thing um obviously with restrictions in place but it's good it's a, it would be a good idea to kind of just get outside the house maybe go for a walk even you know you don't have to do you can bring a book if you want to but it's nice to kind of have like a little clear mind walk as well and yeah those are basically my top tips also i'm a bit ill at the moment because autumn season means i get colds <laughs> so yeah have have fun with online learning as well when you're not having fun it kind of makes you feel worse do you know what i mean so definitely just kind of take a break sometimes when you need it as well but again there's my top four tips um hopefully this helps um this is all tried and tested by yours truly i've really gone through the motions for trying to adjust to online learning so i can understand how it's quite hard for all you guys as well but um yes have fun, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video, whenever that comes out. <laughs> but yeah, see you later, guys. Bye.